Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How you doing this afternoon? Ooh, yes, Lord. You know, I had asked, uh, can I give y'all another good word? I'm talking about, and he said, yes. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes is our portion. You know what I'm talking about? When it comes to the Lord, he loves to spoil us. He says yes to us a lot. You know what I'm talking about? Those that are obedient, he really says yes. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. What do you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people? This lovely afternoon. Now it's in old Ezekiel. Is it Ezekiel 39? Look like a solid 16 to me. There we go. I'm talking about. Then we're in Ezekiel 40. It look like a solid 20 to me. You know how we'll be. We'll be running that chat. You talking about. Yes, Lord. Says, now I want you to fit yourself in this script to see how to improve. Because, see, that's what he repeats these things that has happened in this world for us to improve on it so that we change the game. You know what I'm talking about? So that the next time we flip back around, that problem or issue is solved. It's just like breaking generational curses. You know what I'm talking about? Lord, it says, and doubt shall come up against my people of Israel as a cloud to cover the land. It shall be in the latter day and I will bring thee against my land. That the heathen may know of me when I shall be sanctified in thee. Oh God, before thy eyes. See, before their eyes, they had to realize that he was God. You know what I'm talking about? Because, see, they got to cutting up. And he came through and told them, you know, this is these instructions. You must obey and abide by them. You know what I'm talking about? Them joints said, I ain't got to stop. I ain't got to quit. You know what I'm talking about? But they didn't know that our father was legit with what he was talking about. You know what I'm talking about? Because, see, they didn't have their spiritual eyes open. To be able to perceive that it was he who was the son of God. You know what I'm talking about? So they continue doing evil and doing iniquities onto, another, onto one another. You know what I'm talking about? Until God stepped in and said, no more. You know what I'm talking about? No more. So he said confusion in their camp. I'm talking about seeing confusion in their camp. All them enemies got to scatter them because they ain't know what else to do. They, you know, they, even the ones that didn't still want to believe that he had a high power to achieve everything to set us free. I'm talking about. Says. We're going to do 19, 20, and 21. Then he measured the birth from the forefront of the lower gate and to the forefront of the inner court without a hundred cubit word. And without a hundred cubits, eastward and northward. You know, 
He had an eye for it. It's just like, you know, when you eyeballing or something, you know what I'm talking about? He had an eye for it, so he didn't really even have to use any tools to measure that. You know what I'm talking about? He just seen the vision and put it into play. And that's what a lot of us have to do today. We have to see the vision and put it into play. You know what I'm talking about? Just like God put the thought of us, you know what I'm saying, inside of this vessel here, you know, we have to have a vision. And he gives us that when he gives us provision to have thoughts, dreams, you know what I'm talking about? says and the little chambers thereof were three on the side and three on that side and the post thereof and the arches thereof were after the measures of the first gate the length thereof was 50 cubits and the birth 5 and 20 cubits. <clears throat> and their windows and their arches and their palm trees were after the measures of the gate that looketh towards the east. And they went up until it by seven steps. And the arches thereof were before them. You see, these were the thoughts of an architect building. Come on. And that's what we have to do with our minds sometimes. We have to think like an architect and build. I'm talking about, and what I mean by that, I don't mean, you know, put some Legos together or something like that. No, we have to build up our mental. We have to build up our spiritual. We have to build up our physical. And when I say physical, we got to feed our brain good things. All positivity, you know what I'm talking about? Because we didn't see too much negativity in our lives. That's why, you know, he said, turn, this, turn ourselves over to Christ. Come on. And as we do such, those things, those thoughts, those experiences that he has us have, he gives it to us so that we can build upon it. You know, come on. You know, this is authentic to nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later on.